Hey everyone, I'm Mikey Hood and I'm live at Phipps Conservatory. Are you looking for something for your kids to do this summer? Well, you're in the right place. They can grow with Van Gogh this summer. And to tell us about what that means, I have Dr. Sarah Sates here with Phipps Conservatory. Hey, Sarah. Hi. Hey, so what can kids expect to experience this summer? So Van Gogh in Bloom is our newest flower show, which features the art of Vincent Van Gogh. And there are so many activities uh, for families. So one activity is our On the Go with Van Gogh Family Gallery Guide. And um, it's a fun scavenger hunt for kids uh, to discover all sorts of things throughout all the rooms in the conservatory. We also have our discovery stations where families and their, uh, their youngest, our youngest guests can uh, learn about Vincent van Gogh's art and try to recreate some of his paintings. Like we have our Build a Sunflower and Starry Night or our Paint Like a Master craft. And it's a way, a way for kids to try out some color mixing. Oh, sounds like fun. Now, this is one of his paintings, correct? So this is the painting, and this is it recreated, correct? Yes. This is the Red Vineyards near Arles. So this was painted later in his life, and it was one of the few paintings that sold during his lifetime. Oh, it's beautiful. And you also have summer camps as well. Yes, we have lots of summer camps for kids ages 2 to 13, and it's, there are many opportunities for kids to connect with nature at Phipps. So we're excited to offer both full half-day, week-long summer camps all summer long, and there's still lots of availability. And you can see that uh, Van Gogh was inspired by nature through so many of his paintings and his landscapes, and we bring that uh, the combination of nature and art in all of our summer camps. Oh, that's really clever. And so I, I, I hate to almost ask this, but what makes this unique, this so, program? Yeah, so Phipps uh, is one of the few places where kids can get up close to living plants from all over the world. But more than that, we want kids to connect with nature and get excited about the nature in their neighborhoods and in their backyards. So we're, we always highlight ecology and gardening and conservation in our camps, but there's always healthy elements and healthy activities and snacks and an art component. Um, we have, uh, 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 for, our, um, for our week, uh, for our full day camps, mm -hmm. we have a summer lunch program where kids can go out into our discovery garden and see vegetables growing there and then turn them into learn how to cook them in our teaching kitchen. Oh, sounds like fun. Sounds delicious as well. Yes. And then also through the summer camp, kids can explore like places like the butterfly forest, correct? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, in our uh, stove room, we have our butterfly forest where there's all sorts of uh, species of butterflies flying around. It's a lot of fun. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah. I really love how you're bringing art and nature together. It's so creative. And there's really something for everyone here, especially for the kids. You know, I think I'm going to stick around a little bit longer because this place is very peaceful and serene. You should. <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. You're I'll welcome. send it back to you guys in the studio. Thank right. you. Thank you. And Phipps is also hosting a fun party that is coming up this weekend. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a blast there. It's a Cuban festival. Guests can learn how to rumba, enjoy Cuban food, and tour the tropical forest. <laughs> Cuba, are you dancing over here? I'm trying to rumba. Yeah. Seated saying, rumba. I don't want to say rumba because that's the vacuum. No, that's no. the vacuum. Yes. <laughs> that's also very nice. Right. Yes. <laughs> that's Saturday from 11 until 3. And